Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. You understand me? Hit that sub button. Join this Fist Unit Army and get Fist Unit tough. When you're done doing that, pick your phone up. And go subscribe to the Giants Outside of Podcast, man. Me and Cop Pizzle bringing you the best New York football Giants podcast on the planet. All right. With that being said, let's get to today's training camp story. So, Wondell Robinson seems to be like the star training camp. Darnay Holmes seems to be like the star training camp. And Darius Slayton is a bum. Now, for this video, I'm going uh, to actually ignore Darius Slee. I got other plans for that motherfucker. For this video, I am going to talk about the camp fight, Darnary Holmes, Wandale Robinson, and I'm going to save Jimmy G for tomorrow because I'm, I'm sick of this Jimmy G shit. But let's talk about Darnary Holmes. Now, he was our best, what, maybe our best rookie two years ago? He was probably our best rookie two years ago. He was a great slot receiver, great slot corner. He did his job, especially for such an undersized player. We thought we had the slot covered for the next however long. And then he, Joe Judge gets pissed off at him, throws him in the doghouse year two. We never hear from him again. And now he's reemerged under the Dable shown Wink Martindale era, and he's balling the hell out. The guy is making multiple diving interceptions on Daniel Jones. He forced a fumble on Saquon today, and he's letting the world know that's not Flot's job. That's mine. He's putting everybody on notice. That's his slot job, not Flot's. Okay, so I understand that Holmes was not drafted by Joe Shane, Joe Shane has no allegiance to him, but he's the man right now on defense. He's that guy. So it's good to know we got the slot covered. Adoree Jackson's looking good in camp so far. He's he out there sticking like Spider-Man glue. But we still got the number two corner now. We all know that highlight of Kadarius Tony a couple days happened on Aaron Robinson. So, I mean... I'm, I think Aaron Robinson will be fine. Uh, I'm not re- going to push the panic button on him at all. I think he'll be fine, man. I, it, we got Holmes. We got a Dory. Got the X-Man who's been speaking with Eric Weddle, I think. I think it was Eric Weddle that Wink Martindale brought uh, brought f- to um, brought in to talk with uh, Xavier McKinney. But um, I want to talk about Wandale. Wandale's a stud. I told y'all this day one. Giants fans out here mad for no damn reason. Bitching and moaning about stupid shit. As always, it seems to be with a lot of Giants fans just complain to complain. Giants fans are the closest thing to females you're going to get. If the Giants fan was a person, if you just had to sum up the Giants fan as a person, you'd be a nagging ass bitch. That's what the Giants fan would be. Are you a nagging ass bitch who ain't never fucking happy? credit card ain't good enough good dick ain't good enough i cook and clean for your punk ass that ain't good enough either you, you you're like robin givens and in that chris rock movie head of state remember when chris rock was uh trying to be president of the world that's who y'all are giants fans are never happy oh let's trade for jimmy g oh my gosh one day robbins is a waste of a pick we should have got an offensive line. shut up Giants fans get on my damn nerves complaining about every damn thing. So shout out to Wandale, man. I can't wait to see Wandale go out here and ball next season. Put that work in. And most importantly, Galladay is an habitual injury weight in the head. He's, he's an habitual ace bandit. You know the little um 
you know the little white boxes that got like the red cross on it that's the Kenny Galladay logo right there you should just put it on his helmet he's a walking first aid kit he's always gonna be hurt so it's gonna come a point in time next season where it's just gonna be the Kadarius Tony Wandale Robinson show and it's gonna be lit the touchdown he caught today in between double coverage great throw Danny Danny that was a laser I know the whole world thinks we're traded for Jimmy G right now, and everybody says Daniel Jones stinks after every completion, but I mean, after every incomplete, and they never want to talk about the good things he does. Oh, we got, I'm going to sit here praise a Wondell Robinson for being the breakout star on our offense right now, but who's the one throwing in the ball? I know, I know, it's taboo to give Daniel Jones a compliment. God forbid we, we believe in Daniel Jones because we're supposed to believe in Tyrod Taylor. And that bum Jimmy G, but whatever. I, I, I don't want to talk about that right now. I got other plans for that. Um, shout out to Wandale. He out there cooking a good secondary. The Giants have an okay secondary, and Wandale out there cooking them like he's chef for yard D. So shout out to him. Lastly, the training camp fight, Shane Lemieux, Dexter Lawrence. They got into it, and I love every second of it. Okay, from what I've heard, Dexter Lawrence is having a great camp. He's putting in work. He's really holding it down on that defensive line right now. And Shane Lemieux is a nasty motherfucker. Okay? We, he ain't trying to have that. So, at the end of the day, they don't even have the pads on and they're already fighting. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Go ahead, fight. Men fight. That's what we do. We're barbarians. We're savages. We're men. That's what we do. We fight. Okay, uh, fighting makes you grow. <clears throat> fighting is good for the relationship. If you haven't punched your friend in the face, y'all not real friends. I'm sorry. If you haven't fist fought with your homeboy, y'all probably not homeboys. I mean, how do you know if you're really homeboys if you can't punch each other in the face and, and call each other four letter words and still be cool like a day later? How do you really know your friendship is strong? I, like these are uh, these are the questions that that you have to ask yourself. If you're listening in this video right now, and you ain't punched your homeboy in the face, or he ain't kicked you in your chin, and, and, and called you all types of four letter words, and y'all say and y'all weren't friends two days later, then I don't, I'm questioning your relationship. I'm questioning your relationship. So shout out to Shane Lemieux for doing this thing. Shout out to Dex Lawrence for doing this thing, man. That's that's how you build. A relationship that's how you build camaraderie that's how you show each other respect when two men get in each other's face and inflict harm to each other and make up with each other later that's called being a man that's called manhood that's what men do we fight and we make up that's what just the bro code so i'm good to see the training camp fights it's good to see and thank god they didn't have to stop and run laps and get cursed out for 30 minutes by joe judge because if this happened under joe judge he would have made everybody run laps and then he would have went on a, a profanity lace f-bomb tirade for 30 minutes like they five years old when it was all said and done so thank god joe judge is in new england and brian dables in new york <sighs> that's it that's all subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me my name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.